wanted to kick off a new series of videos today about inspirations for my work uh, from other artists and uh, starting with Michael Turner. Uh, Michael Turner was a huge influence on my early work and I'm reminded uh, watching Richard Friend's videos, thank you Richard, uh, just the other day that um, it would have been Michael's 50th birthday um, and he uh, died uh, far too early um, but he was an amazing artist. I remember walking into Forbidden Planet in Sheffield um, and seeing this cover and thinking I haven't seen anything like this in the shop. This is completely different um, and picked this up. This is dated what is, what is this? This is 5th of May 96 it looks like or thereabouts and Michael's work was was fantastic as was the uh, the Inca Detron who did a, a lot of his inks um, I loved, loved their pairing um, and Michael's work was just stand out it combined a kind of American aesthetic with a uh, Japanese manga aesthetic um, in a completely fresh new way it was really interesting and I've just bought um, which I've had my eye on for a while the um, the new um, relatively new uh, oversized uh, edition of Michael's uh, works from Batman and Superman and some other bits and pieces so we'll open that and have take a look um, at this um, this facsimile uh, it's something that's been on my wish list for a while it's an expensive book I don't normally buy books that at that price but it's a really special one and I thought I'm going to regret it if I don't grab it so I just want to have a quick look at Michael's early work um, and we'll have a look at some of my my work and see how it's how it has influenced it um, I think what was interesting about Michael was he his line work was beautiful um, Obviously, he drew women very beautifully, but his line work was really beautiful, really clean. Um, and uh, obviously, some people didn't like his work because it pushes proportions in, in strange ways. He stretched in, in Elon Gates figures, but um, uh, a lot of people found his work really interesting uh, the way he draws eyes. Um, and you can see bits of his work in, in mine. Um, I think for me, reading uh, Witchblade and um, his other works that came afterwards of his own creation um, the only problems I had with it was some of the storytelling in this early work um, now this may be about um, beyond the team of, of Michael's work um, but some pages I found completely unreadable um, uh, unable to track through where the story was lots of breaking of conventions of how to read um, balloons in lots of different places and I'm sorry but I found that really difficult to read and um, some of this early storytelling which is a shame because his work was really really good and you, you think about how much better he was getting um, uh, in his work um, throughout the years he was active and how good he would have been now perhaps if he'd, if he'd kept working um, beyond the, 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 the early period um, so storytelling wise I found some challenges with it um, but uh, I keep coming back to how beautiful his line work is um, and I think there's elements of, of his work that I want to keep in mind uh, I think I need to, to stop aping his work uh, because no one draws like Michael even people that draw like Michael don't draw like Michael um, it, it just becomes a, a, a diluted version of that so looking at some of my early work on the tide you probably can see elements of Michael's work in, in mine, the way, I, the way I draw eyes uh, and lips and faces and, and other bits and pieces. You probably can see that influence there. Um, and uh, looking at the Tide 3 in my more recent work, if you watch my, my other recent videos, uh, you'll see that uh, the work on Tide 3 is starting to change and evolve beyond that. Um, and I hope I can keep doing that. Right, let's have a look at this new book. So I ordered this book on eBay, obviously, but it was from Reed Comics. So let's take a look. So far, note from Read Comics. So 
here we go, Superman, Batman, Michael Turner, Gallery Edition, Graffiti Designs. Let's have a look. That's very well packaged. And that's fantastic. And of course I really appreciate being able to see Michael's erasings. It's been shot very well from the originals. I always wanted to pick up a piece of Michael's original work and I tried to uh, from his colleagues Aspen um, before or just after he died um, and I wasn't able to get a piece um, uh, but I would still love to. So let's open this up and take a look inside. More mark on there, that's a shame, underneath the plastic. This is a big book on my drawing board. I'll just grab the camera so you get a sense of the drawing board. So this is actually the same size as I would normally draw. Um, I'll grab a piece of a piece of A4. So I would normally sorry a piece of A3. Uh, I would normally draw A3 or uh, 11 by 17. Uh, so as you can see. This is a, a really decent size book, at the size of the originals, hopefully. Okay, but that is really, really lovely end papers. I kind of miss that we don't all work on the blue line boards anymore. Um, my own process kind of mixes working traditionally, sometimes on blue line boards, and then, uh, but sometimes just on, on more recently, just on uh, much cheaper paper, because so much of the process is now done digitally. So that's a really lovely, lovely place. The paper stock's lovely. It's. Um, Feels, see that uncoated I'm not in that laminate. That's really good. That is really good quality. I'm sorry I can't get all of this in shot. I'm gonna take the camera off its mount so we can have a look at this. I'm not gonna go through every page of the book uh, because uh, that wouldn't be entirely fair um, but from a review point of view I will look at some of the key pieces um, and talk about how it influenced me. I mean Michael's eyes for example, Michael draws huge eyes um, which perhaps brings a from a manga influence um, uh, and sorry I still say manga not manga um, and uh, his eyelashes um, are, are particularly noticeable and I probably have picked up that into my work uh, but you'll notice on my work I often lose the eyelashes from the lower eyelids um, and I don't draw such cartoony big eyes. Um, and as my work is becoming more more realistic but more abstract, um, I uh, do uh, I do keep um, uh, some of the, the elements that, that Michael's got in his work but also I'm trying to bring in some more realism into it as well. Um, where I think there's an overlap in what Michael was trying to do and what he talks about in some of his, his videos, if you can find them on the internet, is um, he removes lines in order to let the viewer uh, bring more to the uh, experience, which if you watch my previous video on making comics and making better comics, uh, I think there's a lot to be said for that. So if you look at his 
the way Michael draws the nose is he's stripping out all the extraneous details. He doesn't draw the bridge of the nose. Um, he removes a lot of the lines of the face. Um, now that's partly because he doesn't want women to look older by adding more line work to their faces um, in heavy black pencil. Um, but it's also because he is trying to uh, make the viewer um, bring more to that from their own imagination. And I think that's what I have taken from Michael and try and keep is what the viewer brings from their imagination, even if stylistically Michael's work is more cartoony than I want to do in my work. Let's have a look at a few more pages. This is lovely, this uh, tracing paper overlay. Let's see if we can just take a quick look. So you've got the title and logo overlaid and everything, which is really nice. These are really good for similes, actually. And his men are really well drawn as well. Obviously, his, his, his women were what made him particularly popular. Look at the incredible amount of detail he crams into his backgrounds. Now, I don't know whether he's using background artists on this or not. Um, there's a fantastic video um, uh, talking about Michael's work um, uh, and life, um, which includes uh, Mark, Mark Silvestri, who obviously uh, was his uh, first boss mentor um, at Top Cow and he uh, shows some of Michael's original uh, very early sample work and what's amazing is is at that point Michael's work is is not better than a lot of other um, uh, contemporaries work in their in their in their teen years or early 20s it's not exceptional you can see elements of Michael's work there um, but it's not it's not amazing and yet, within very, very short space of time, he seems to get really, really good. Once he's being supported, mentored, trained, he gets to get good really, really fast and keeps getting better and better, uh, which is amazing. Obviously, I didn't know him. I'm picking this up from, from what I've seen and read. Um, if you know more about that, please do put more in the comments. I'd be really interested to know. His line work is just incredible. The amount of detail... And I think later he began to, to work by reproducing directly from his pencils rather than the inks that Detron did, um, which I really liked. As I say, I really like Detron's inks. Um, if you look at how sharp um, Detron's um, inks are, the, the, the sharp flicks and returns um, in, are just incredibly tight. Uh, which works really well with Michael's lettering, sorry, with Michael's um, artwork. Fantastic. Now I don't know the later work that he did on Batman Superman, so I'll have to have a read and see um, how his storytelling progressed from Witch Bade and um, his other books like Fathom and so on and so forth. Um, but uh, these are really beautiful to look at um, and whatever I think of Michael's um, storytelling, I absolutely love his, his line work and that will probably always be an, an influence. Um, so I'd be really interested what you think about um, Michael's work, about his storytelling, about his, his, his line work, did it influence you, did you read his books? Um, uh, and please uh, add in the comments uh, other in, other artists you'd like to, to see, or um, I'll, I'll be talking about more of my inspirations. Um, but if you drop a note in the comments about questions for me, I'll try and uh, answer those in future videos. Um, I have some uh, new videos coming up answering some questions from people that uh, are already on my mailing list. Uh, and if you want to join my mailing list, you can go to uh, www.
artofadamandrum.com or seachangecomics.com uh, and you can join the mailing list and uh, stay in touch with what I'm up to. Right, I'm going to go and read the rest of this. Thanks very much. See you later. Bye.